Hey beauties, it's your girl Claire Moy and welcome to my channel. Today I used a, a new product. It worked, but I'm hot, okay? I used my hair dryer that I got from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just getting dressed today. I perm my hair. Oh, this is a continuation of my hair perming, okay? Yes, but it is so hot, okay? It is so hot. But I remember that I had this little tool, y'all. I'm not getting paid for this. Like, this is legit awesome. It is a um, fanless air conditioning that you can wear around your neck. And I just realized today that it is perfect to do my makeup, y'all. Oh my God, so it's pretty much a portable air conditioning and it's environmental friendly. When I tell you I did not mean to use this in this video, but I am sweating in New York City. And then I put this on and I'm like, oh snap. I got air conditioning around my neck. This is best for like, you know, if you're gonna go work out, if you're in a hot room, listen, anywhere where you need air, baby, this will come in handy. And it's cute, like people won't know what you got around your neck, you know what I'm saying? If you just walk around like, yeah, I'm so innovative. Anyways, I will leave, look, my neighbors, I don't know what's happening outside, but I will leave the link um, to this little bad boy in the description box. I also have a discount code. Make sure you check it out. All right, you beautiful souls, let's get to perming. And I'm using the Mazzani Relaxing relaxer for sensitive scalp and let me tell you it's not okay i'm putting some vaseline around my edges you know how perms go but yeah I, I didn't like this perm at all okay i burned my hair but it's also my fault why i burned it okay but i just did not like it because I've, I've left perms in for like longer and it has never done what this did to me but i wanted to actually buy the affirm relaxer but my beauty supply store was selling it really janky that's a whole other story it was really janky so the lady told me to buy this one the employee of the beauty supply store told me to buy this one because that's the one she uses keep in mind that her hair was dry and brittle but i still took her recommendation and bought it okay this perm did not come with any shampoo conditioner gloves so i was kind of annoyed that i went against my better judgment i just should have if they didn't have the affirm which they did but it was again they were trying to do some real janky shady stuff i just should have went with the olive oil that i normally use but this is the last time i'm gonna perm my hair myself next time i'm going to go to a hair salon let me not lie to y'all maybe i will go to a hair salon the next time because i really did a number on my hair for real like i'm high key mad at myself for what i did to my hair because i don't have a lot of hair to be playing with you know what i'm saying like i don't have a lot of hair to be playing with so that was very annoying and then i didn't have no gloves Alrighty, so I went into the bathroom and I actually put on my kitchen gloves and now I have to throw them away to just flatten out my hair with the perm because I really didn't want to use my fingers. So yeah, I'm going to keep it on for like one more minute because it's already tingling. Even though the box says it's for sensitive scalp, it's already tingling. So... Do not even touch it and I'm gonna go wash it out. And then I'll be back. Whew! All right, so first of all, this is the following day because I burned myself, perming my hair. I burned all through hair, I burned all through hair. Like I have a lot of hair to be burning. But how did it actually happen? I was getting ready to jump in the shower to wash it out and I got an email that this particular product that I had been waiting for was available. So I was purchasing that <laughs> while my head was burning. That's, 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 that's sick. Mm. Lemon cucumber, 
what's it called? Mint leaves. So what I'm putting in my hair right now is some Cara Care Glossifier. It's, it's good for your hair. Um, have I seen a difference since using it? No. Have I been consistently using it? Also no. Okay, so, but I'm so nervous that the mousse is gonna burn my hair, guys. I mean, burn my, look at this, just stupid. Not me stupid, the act was stupid. But I was so nervous that the product was gonna be sold out. <laughs> so I just stood there in the bathroom making the order. All right, so I'm gonna use Nairobi. You all been telling me to get Nairobi. So I went and I got it. I also got a hair dryer. Say hey, friend. I also got a hair dryer that I'm going to be using. But first, let's mold it. I also got the wrapping paper. I'm gonna, um, my neighbors are in the back doing what they do best. Nothing, just being loud. So I'm gonna do the rest of this in voiceover. So enjoy the video and I will be back when I'm gonna do my makeup because we get in all the way cute today. Okay, you know what? I have really nice neighbors. They're great. I feel safe around them. I know they got my back should anything happen. They're just loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just loud. Like, oh my God. Like, why can't you just live in peace? Like, why can't you just stay in your house? And if you want to go outside, why do all your neighbors have to know that you're outside? Like, I, I, I just don't get it. But it's a New York thing. It's a New York thing, okay? But again, they're the sweetest people, but they so damn loud, y'all. Lord, they so damn loud. Uh, oof. Anyways. So as you can see, I put the Nairobi mousse all over my head. And now I am going to just slick down his hair, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, my hair is perm, okay? It's perm. It's smooth, it's silky, but it's also dry, okay? I tried to do a little soupy soup thing in the front. It did not work, and I don't really care, honestly, because I know that I was going to use my flat iron on it, so whatever. So I'm gonna go in with that paper. I forgot what this is called, but it's that paper. And then I'm going to tie it around, make sure that everything is nice and flat. And boom, I am heading under my dryer. I'm so happy to finally have this. Like, I really feel like my beauty room is like a mini salon. Like, it's my own personal makeup and hair salon. I love it. But I wanted to kill two stir two stones I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and I decided let me start my makeup so I had to put the the dryer on cool so that way I could do my makeup and what you saw me putting on on my brows before I was brushing it out is the got to be glue gel I really like that method because it then dries out my job it then dries out my uh, brow area and it also lays my brow straight so when I go in with the auburn I brought pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is so easy to draw it on. It's like my skin is really, really dry right there. So the pencil just shows up even more. It's not slippery or anything like that. Then I'm going to go in with the Red Chestnut Gel Brow from MAC. They no longer sell this. I don't know why. But I also use that to help tint my brows so they blend in better with the brow pencil. And then, of course, I'm going to clean it up with some concealer, brush that out, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then I was like, you know what? We're going for a simple look today. I'm talking about this look is so simple. Anybody could do it, okay? Anybody could do it. I went in with my bronzer and I just kind of deepened my crease a little bit. I didn't do anything too serious. I just went in with the same a shadow brush that I use for my eyebrows and I just blended in my um, crease with the bronzer and then I put on some lashes okay this is an easy look this is actually like my everyday makeup look if I wore makeup every day it would be something very similar to that and I'm trying to see if I have any chin hairs neck hairs that need plucking cuz baby your girl be growing hair right there okay it's not bad but it's still like Instead of growing on my neck, just grow on my damn eyebrows, okay? But it's not a lot, for real. I, 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 I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm done, if it's dry, but it's summertime in New York City, and the real, like me, can't take the heat. All right, let me put this away. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's not smart. Let me spray some of this in my hand. It is a gloss and a heat protectant. Get that up in there. Use my finger. It feels dry. Because I'm sweating, I don't know what dry feels like right now. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk anymore because I wanna use the rest of this footage for Instagram. And it's like weird when I play music and I'm talking, so. Excuse me. This is, oh, I'm not supposed to be talking. So, as you can see, I like where this is going, you know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it a lot. Now, when I start using my flat iron, everything's gonna go down south. And I don't mean down south in a good way, okay? I don't mean collard greens and ham hocks. I mean down south as in hell. It's about to go to hell when I get to my flint iron, okay? First of all, right here, I should have used my regular size flint iron because my hair is longer there. And I should use this tiny one for the shorter parts of my hair, right? Because I will get a much better curl if I use my regular size flint iron but I wanted to comb it out just to see what it would look like and I was like okay it's gonna work it's gonna work and then I curled the rest of my hair and again I should have used my regular size flat iron let me tell you something I'm not apologizing for my underarm hair okay I am a human and human grows hair and I'm not ready to wax yet okay so please look past my humanness anyway so I was also sweating. I was sweating bricks. Like, I was sweating bricks, okay? It's New York, oh my gosh, just ugh. So, that was also wetting the front of my hair so I couldn't really style it. I was not feeling it right here at all, but you know what, it ended up working out. Honestly, whenever I do my edges, it saves the whole look. <laughs> and this is where this neck air conditioner came in handy and saved the day. All right, the kid is back and I forgot that I got this bladeless neck fan, guys, from this company called Taurus. And I am hot right now, I am so hot. And no, I'm not. I put this around my neck while I'm doing my makeup. So it's gonna fan my makeup. It's just, it feels like a, it doesn't feel like a fan. It feels like a, um, what's it called? I write it right here, I can't remember the name. Air conditioning, it feels like air conditioning around my neck. All right, so let's do our makeup. Thank you, Taurus. You literally saved my Saturday in New York City. Let's do the face. Let's do the foundation. So I'm using the primer from Milk Cosmetics and then I'm going to go in with my Lancome foundation and focus that more mostly on my jawline because that's my problem area. And now I am setting it with the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in shade 47, I believe, NW47. I don't know, I really don't know. I don't even know if that's the shade color. Then I'm using a new blush, y'all. Okay, and this blush is from Glossier. It is a cream blush. This is my first time using a cream blush, and I loved it. It looked like I was blushing from within. I really, really liked it. Um, I liked it a lot. And then I went in with my highlight, and I only focused the highlight in the inner corners of my um, highlight area. <laughs> And I really like the way this look came out. Like I felt like my skin looked really naturally. It didn't look overly done. It had like a natural glow to it. And here I am using, um, what is what are they called? I forgot the company's name, but I like her setting powder, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm gonna go in with some highlight. This highlight is from, don't know. I can't even tell you right now. 
anyways let's go with the elf cosmetics blush and we're going to add some more something funny is happening to my computer yeah why <sighs> this lip liner is from cami cosmetics it is so beautiful i don't remember the name of this but as you know everything will be in the description box because i've been good at putting things in the description box i've been really good at that and i feel like y'all need to give me some props i'm just kidding i love y'all for real y'all the best and now after i put on my lip liner i'm gonna go in with my favorite red lipstick this is my favorite red lipstick i don't think it's ever gonna change because it's so hydrating it's really vibrant like oh i love this red lipstick it is dose of colors kiss of fire it is my absolute favorite anyway so i am about done with this look i hope you enjoyed it you know, if you think anybody needs to learn how to beat how to beat their face naturally, make sure that you share this video, comment, like, subscribe. Video. Oh, I am sweating. Like, it's not cool. One of my nails broke, but it's okay because I was gonna do my nails. Actually, no, I was not gonna do my nails, but whatever. I'm gonna do it over now. So, this is my hair. It can definitely be better, but it is what it is. Um. I was gonna show you guys the whole outfit. I mean, I'm just wearing some jeans. This shirt, let me show you guys the shirt. This shirt, and some jeans. The perfume that I'm wearing is by Dior. It is the intense version. Um, do I wanna spray it? <laughs> Why do I buy perfumes that I can't really wear? Oh, it smells so sophisticated. This is like a really sophisticated scent. This one, ooh. Hold on, it went in my nose. I will put the notes right here. Mm, it's like perfect for this look. It's so sophisticated. It's so grown woman. Like, I love it. Anyways, I am sweating. I hope you all enjoyed this video. My hair would have turned out better, but I'm still working on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still have a lot of practice to go. So yeah thank you all so much for watching and now i'm about to record a video about mental health see you soon in this same shirt oh yeah should i change my shirt to look more nope i'm wearing a shirt okay bye